The Mindful Life Practice. Um, let's come into a um, butterfly pose. So you're going to come onto your back. And press your feet together and then just let your knees open wide. And as you arrive on your mat and you drop into stillness and you drop into your shape, start to turn your attention towards your breath. Taking deep inhales and exhales. And using those breaths to bring yourself into the present moment, to bring yourself into present awareness. So something that makes yoga unique <coughs> it's like other forms of exercise right we're strengthening and we're stretching but something that makes it especially unique is that we are using the breath to cue our movements and in doing so the breath is helping us come into almost a moving meditation. And that's what separates it from just a stretching class or just a other form of workout class. So generally for the inhales will expand and for the exhales will contract. Before we start moving and moving into our practice, I'll invite you to take a moment to choose an intention. For a lot of us, it's very early morning, so we'll start slow. The goal of our practice will be to just kind of have an hour of movement and mindfulness. But if you have another thing that motivated you for your practice, just identify it now. We're gonna take our palms onto our thighs and then draw our knees into our chest. Give ourselves a little hug and then rock from side to side. So you're kind of massaging out through the back. And then rock all the way into center now. Land your soles of your feet on your mat, land your palms, lift your hips up, find yourself coming into a bridge. I want you to imagine that there's a yoga block between your thighs. You're just holding it in place. And then let's get a little bit of movement. So as you exhale, we're gonna lower the hips down. And then as you inhale, you're gonna lift the hips up. Exhaling to lower. And then inhale to lift. Keep going like this, exhale. And then inhale. Exhale, and then inhale. Why don't do, we do one more, just taking breath out, and then a breath in. And then slowly lower back down, open your arms into cactus arms, draw your knees into your chest, and then just drop the knees over to the right, land the right palm on the left thigh, and then gaze over the left shoulder.
open your right arm, take your knees all the way back through center, drop them the opposite way. And then let's just come all the way back and we're gonna come into a tabletop position. Roll all the way over and your palms on the mat, land your knees on your mat. Just sit your hips back on your heels, rest your forehead. And then take some deep breaths in and out. And as you inhale, your back kind of lifts and your belly presses against your thighs. And then as you exhale, you sink into the shade. On your next inhale, let's come all the way up into a table, land your palms, land your knees. And now let's take a breath in, finding our way into our cow, and then exhaling, curling into your cat. Taking three more, just like this, inhale, and then exhale. Two more. And let's take one more. And then come back into neutral. Let's take a nice puppy pose. So walk your palms forward. Just bring your heart onto your mat. Your uh, hips are kind of stacking above your knees here. And it might be comfortable to rest your chin or your forehead. For me, it feels best to just rest the side of my head. My nose kind of gets in the way. <laughs> It's not so much a concern what your neck is doing here. This is more of a stretch for like the rest of your back. So if you're rolling onto one cheek, it's all good. And then slowly come all the way up. Walk your hands in and then let's do some twists through the shoulders, okay? So leave your right palm where it is. Take your left palm up towards the sky, take a breath in. And then thread your left arm under, landing onto your left chin and your left cheek. And then slowly come all the way up and then let's twist the opposite way, okay? So right arm lifts up towards the sky, big breath in. Thread your right arm under, land on your right cheek, land on your right shoulder. And then let's come all the way up. Plant your palms, spread through the fingers, press through the knuckles. And then tuck your toes and lift all the way up and back, finding your first down dog. You can bend through one knee and press through the heel and just kind of stretch through the calves. And then bend your knees and gaze forward and then just step and walk your feet up to meet your hands. Take an inhalation to halfway lift, so lengthen through the spine, reach through the crown of your head. Exhale into a fold and then bend through the knees, sit back, finding your utkatasana in your chair. And then let's stay here for three, for two, and then for one, lift all the way up to stand, take your palms into heart center. The sun is coming up now, I'm just gonna turn off my lights. There, that's nicer. I have these big bright lights that help me with filming, but it's kind of nice in sunrise to just like have the natural light with me. You guys are okay with that. Let's inhale the palms up towards the sky. We're going to take three half sun salutations. So exhale into a fold. Take an inhale to halfway lift. And then exhale, fold back down. And then as you inhale, circle all the way up to stand. And then take your palms into heart center. Inhale, palms up towards the sky. And then exhale into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
And then inhale, circle all the way up to stand. Then take your palms into heart center. One more breath in. And then breath out. Breath in. And then on this breath out, let's stay into this forward fold. Just leave your right foot where it is. Step your left foot all the way back. Land onto your left knee, finding your low lunge, your Anjani Asana, and then inhale your palms up. Try to tilt at your pelvis so you're like drawing the navel in a little bit instead of dumping it out. And then just keep your arms reaching overhead, keep your shoulders settling, and take a breath in. And then as you exhale, forward fold, land your left palm, inhale your right palm up towards the sky so you're bringing your body into a twist. And then exhale, land the right palm back down. We're gonna walk the palms back as you lengthen through the right leg and then take three breaths, inhaling and then exhaling. Two. And then one. Walk your palms back, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. We're gonna step the right foot back and then let's take a really gentle vinyasa first to start. So land the knees, slowly lower. Inhaling, lifting the heart. Exhaling, lower. And then shift through a table. Find your way up into down dog. And now let's take the opposite side. So step your left foot forward, do your rocks. Land onto your right knee, inhale your palms up towards the sky. So arms are reaching up overhead, shoulders are relaxing. Take three breaths. And then hinge forward, land your right palm and then come into a twist. So lift the left palm up overhead. Exhale the left palm back down. Let's walk the palms back, coming into a hand string stretch. So I love this little warm up. It's like super gentle in the morning. So we'll take it one more time. A little bit of variation. Walk your palms forward, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. So lifting your right knee and then stepping the right foot all the way forward. Take an inhalation, halfway lift. Take an exhalation, fold and then bend through the knees, sit back, lifting up. Take your palms into your heart center, finding your Tadasana. Opposite side, inhale your palms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, lower. Keep your left foot where it is. Step your right foot back. Do your nice little rocks forward and back. And then land onto your right knee and inhale your palms up, find your low lunge. So reach through your arms, a softness through your shoulders, three breaths. And then this time I want you to swing your arms back behind you, interlace the palms behind the sacrum, and then kind of expand through the heart, taking a little bit of a back bend. And then release that grip and then reach both arms forward. Okay, keeping your right arm forward, you're gonna pull your left arm back like you're coming into, like almost pulling back a bow and arrow. And then you're gonna reach forward and land your right palm on the inside of the left foot and keep your left arm extending. Take your left palm down towards the mat and then walk your palms backwards, finding a bit of a forward fold, inhaling and then exhaling. Two more. And then taking one more. And then walk your palms forward. Step your left knee back to meet the right. If you're ready to take a full vinyasa, go ahead. Tucking your knees, lifting your heart, lowering into your chaturanga. Inhaling up into your back bend. And then exhaling over into your down dog. And then we'll take the opposite side. So step your right foot forward, take your rocks. And then land onto your left knee and then inhale your palms up overhead. 
So finding your low lunge, settling your gaze, softness through your shoulders, and then sweep your arms back, interlace through the palms, press the palms together as you open your heart into a little bit of a back bend. And then reach your arms forward. Now keeping your left arm extended, you're gonna peel the right arm back like you're coming into that bow and arrow thing, that twist a different way to enter this twist and then reach forward and land your left palm on the inside of the right foot and then reach your right arm up towards the sky and then land the right palm and then walk the palms back having these memories with knees being here of when I used to teach yoga at the Hilton Resort in Kuwait I remember knees used to come to my classes I remember Neve that your favorite pose or a pose that you really requested was shoulder stand. You said it was a really nice stretch out for the back. So we're gonna do that this morning. <laughs> Walk your palms forward, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step your right foot back to meet your left and then flow through your vinyasa. And then let's find our way all the way up to down dog. And we're just gonna stay there for five breaths. So spread your weight evenly through your palms, lift your hips up, Stretch through your calves, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Then one more inhale, one more exhale. Come forward, land your knees onto the mat, finding your table, and then we'll do a tiny, teeny tiny bit of core. So left leg is gonna extend. Maybe you lift the right arm, maybe not. On your inhale, keep this long extension. And then on your exhale, curl your elbow in to meet the knee. Inhale, extend. And then exhale to curl. Taking two more. And then one more. And then inhale, extend everything long. I want you to open the right arm to the right, the left arm to the left leg to the left, and then zip everything back in. Let's take four of those. So one more, three. And then bring back to center, two. And then bring back to center, and then one. And then land your right palm and land your left knee. And then take an inhale into your cow. And then an exhale into your cat. And then come all the way back. Right leg lifts, left arm lifts, inhale. And then curl the elbow into the knee. Three more of these. Two more. And then one more. And then other variation, lengthen and then open. Three. two, and then one, and then let's land the left palm, land the right knee, take a breath in, cow, take a breath out, cat, and then walk your body forward again, one more puppy pose, heart is opening. So we're gonna move through a, a morning mandala flow. So we'll be going through a bit of a journey around the mat, moving with our breath. So when you're ready, coming out of this puppy pose, and then we're gonna make our way to begin. So tuck your toes and lift up and back to your down dog. Take your right leg up towards the sky, bend through your right knee and stack the hips. And maybe you just stay here, Maybe you ripple your heart forward into a plank and then you roll onto the outer edge of the left foot. You lay on your right toes. You lift your heart. This is a back bend. This is your wild thing. Come all the way forward. Draw your right knee into your chest. Hold here for three, for two. And on one, I want you to extend your leg out, land onto the outer edge of the right foot, land onto the left heel, lift your arm up towards the sky. Roll your way back down, land your left palm, 
Roll onto the outer edge of the left foot. Take your right arm up towards the sky. Find a version of side plank and you might just have your foot out like normal. That's cool or staggered or whatever. And then we're gonna step the right foot all the way forward in between the palms. Inhale your way up. And then exhale, open into a warrior two. And then just land here, easing over the right shoulder. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, come all the way up, elbow to knee. Three more just like this, inhale. And then exhale. Two more, breath in. And then breath out. And then one more, inhale. And then on your exhale, you're gonna land your right elbow. Reach your left arm in front of you, take your extended side angle. You can choose, maybe you come down and land your fingertips. For me, it feels like it's too early for that. So I'm just good right here. Come all the way back up, lengthen through your right leg, walk your left foot in a tiny bit. You're gonna hinge forward and then take your right arm alongside your right leg, finding yourself into a tree kanasana, a triangle. So have this long expansion through your chest and take your left arm up towards the sky. And then let's just take three breaths here. And then take your left palm onto your hip, lift your way forward, finding your balance. Pressing through the right big toe, maybe gazing down to have a point of focus, stay for three, stay for two. And then on one, I want you to bend through the right knee, step all the way back. Lengthen through the right leg, just turn all 10 toes to face the sidewall. Let's interlace the palms today, press the palms away from you, and then hinge forward, finding yourself into a forward fold. Land the palms onto the hips, lift all the way back up. Turn your left toes to face the back of the mat. We're gonna take a big step in with the right foot. So you're setting yourself up with a lengthened left leg. Your right foot is on a 45 degree angle. And on your inhale, you're gonna lift your arms up. And now I want you to hinge forward like you're reaching towards the computer, coming in for a hug. Or maybe you're away from the computer at this point as we're journeying around. And then you're just gonna hinge your body forward, dangling into a pyramid pose over the left leg. Now this is a pose where I would cue people to have their hands on a block to support themselves. Um, so if you wanna have your hands on a piece of furniture, go ahead. And then let's bend through the left knee, lift all the way up, take the hands onto the hips, and then just shift weight forward, coming into a veer vadrasana three. So a lengthen through the right leg, right, Torso is level with the left. Come all the way up to stand. Take the right knee with you. Take the right knee into the chest. Just stay here for three, for two. And then on one, step your right foot in front of the left. Take your palms up towards the sky. Interlace your left thumb, your left index finger around your right wrist, and then stretch over towards the left. And then inhale, lift all the way up, lift onto the tippy toes, do a little swivel, land your heels, step your left foot wide, turn your left toes to the front of the mat, bend through the left knee, find your warrior two. Let's take an inhale, reverse the warrior again. Take an exhale, come all the way up, windmill palms to the mat and frame the foot. And then take your left palm to the inside of your right knee, sorry, left knee, let's land onto the right knee. <laughs> find yourself in a lizard. And then maybe you lift the arm up. Maybe you spiral back and take a nice stretch. And then release your foot. Come all the way forward. Let's walk the left foot to the middle of the mat and then walk the fingertips back, finding yourself again into a forward fold. Inhale and then exhale. 
Inhale. And then exhale, empty. And then take one more. Walk your fingertips forward. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, step the left foot back, hold your strong plank for five. Push the ground away, four, three, two, and then one, flow through your vinyasa, and then make your way up to your down dog, and then we're gonna take this flow on the opposite side. Okay, so lift your left knee up towards the sky, three-legged dog, bend through the knee, stack the hips. And then if you wanna flip your dog, go ahead, rippling forward, landing onto the left toes, outer edge of the right foot, lifting your heart towards the sky. And then come all the way through center, knee into the chest. And then let's open your left foot towards the side, rolling onto your right heel, lifting your right arm up towards the sky. So you're a rock star. And then land your right palm, roll all the way into your side plank. Find your variation of this. So your left arm is reaching up towards the sky. And then take a big step forward with your left foot. Inhale all the way up. And then exhale, open to a warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Three more, just like this. Inhale. And then exhale. Two more. And then one more. And then you decide once you land here what you want to do. You can keep your elbow there. You can reach your elbow down towards the mat. Just take three breaths. And then we'll come all the way up, lengthen through your left leg, walk your right foot in a tiny bit, hinge forward, left arm alongside left leg, right arm reaches up towards the sky. And then take your right hand onto your right hip, shift forward, land your left fingertips, landing your left foot, lifting the right leg up, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, three breaths. And then step your right foot all the way back, turn all 10 toes to face the side. Well now, interlace your palms, expanding through your chest, and then hinge your body forward, Finding a wide-legged forward fold. And then take your palms onto your hips. Let's slowly tilt all the way up to stand. Turn your right toes to face the back of the mat. Step your left foot in. You're going to come into this pyramid shape. So your left foot is on the 45 degree angle. Your right toes are pointing forward. Inhale your palms up towards the sky. Hinge at your hips, reach forward. And then take your arms to frame your right foot. So fingertips dangle. Getting a nice deep stretch through the right back of the leg. Remember that it's okay to have a little bit of a micro bend. It's okay to hold onto a piece of furniture. And then shift your weight forward, finding your way up into a warrior three. So hands can be wherever you want your left hip level with your right, extension through the crown of the head all the way into the heel. And then tilt your way up, taking the knee into the chest, just holding here for three or two. And then one, land the left foot, cross the ankle, inhale, expand. And then exhale, hinge forward. Oh no, we didn't do this on the other side, did we? <laughs> we did a banana pose. Come all the way up. Just kidding, interlace your right fingertips around your left wrist and then reach towards the right, taking a lateral side bend. Come all the way up. Take your hands onto your hips, let's quarter swivel, land the heels, step your right foot forward, take your right knee toward the front of the mat, bend through the right knee, warrior two. And then we'll inhale, reverse, we'll exhale, come all the way forward, frame the foot, 
widen your stance, land onto the left knee, take the right palm up towards the sky, and maybe you twist. Maybe coming into that quad stretch. And then let's release the foot if you have it, and then walk the fingertips back as you lengthen through the right leg, taking three breaths. And then come forward, tuck your left toes, land your left palm, take your right palm up towards the sky, step back, find your side plank, and then we'll flow through a vinyasa. So that is our basic flow. And where it gets fun, we're gonna flow through the exact same thing, but we're gonna move it a little bit quicker. And we're gonna add in a couple little fun things here and there. All right, ready? <laughs> Let's take the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Bend through the right knee, stack the hips. If you wanna flip your dog, go ahead, rippling forward, landing onto the tippy toes, outer edge to the left foot. Come all the way through center, right knee into the chest, and then step your right foot wide, landing onto the outer edge of the right foot, landing onto the left heel, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Come all the way onto the left palm, rotate, take your right arm up towards the sky, three, two, and then one, step your right foot all the way forward. Let's come all the way up into our warrior two, and then inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Take three more, breath in, and then breath out. Two more. And then one more. And then you decide what to do in your extended side angle. You could stay, you can reach your arm towards the mat. Those of you that have been with me for the 30 day challenge, you know how to get to bird of paradise. Feel free to go there. I am not going to because I don't want to. <laughs> Just give it five breaths wherever you are. And then lengthen through your right leg. Walk your left foot in a tiny bit. You're gonna reach your arms out, hinge forward. Take your right arm alongside your right leg. Lift your left arm up towards the sky, Trikonasana. So now you choose where you go here. You can stay or you can shift your weight forward, landing your right fingertips, <laughs> landing your right foot, lifting your left arm up towards the sky. And then maybe you go all the way into Chapasana, kicking your left heel back, gripping your left palm with your ankle. Don't worry if you don't get there today. It's like quite an advanced pose and it's early in the morning. Let's release the foot. I want you to land your left palm down now. Walk your hands towards your right foot. Lift your left leg as high as you can coming into a standing split. Maybe you can grip both your palms onto your ankle and then just balance here and know that it's okay if you fall. And then bend through the right knee, step all the way back. Inhale up, let's open, and then fold forward. And then take three breaths, just let the back chill, let the head relax. And then just come all the way up to stand. Take your palms onto your head, so you're gonna turn your left toes to face the short edge of the mat. Step your right foot in. 45 degree angle with your right foot, okay? Inhale your palms up towards the sky and then reach forward and then move into your pyramid. If you have a yoga block, feel free to use it. A lot of people don't have yoga blocks. Books are also good too. I just want you to, not to feel like you need to reach towards the mat like you're reaching for something. You can support yourself. And then if you want to come into Revolve Half Moon Ardha Chandrasana, you might, and you might kick the right heel in towards the left hand, taking a Chapasana. And then tilt all the way up to stand, right knee into the chest. And then maybe you land your left palm on your left hip, you hook your fingertips around your right big toe. You extend through your right leg, finding this like hamstring opener, hand to toe pose. Let's just stay here for three. 
for two. And on one, you're gonna cross your right thigh on top of your left, open your arms, weave your right arm underneath the left, find yourself in a full eagle, a full Garudasana, just breathing into this twist. And then just unwind, land your right foot on front of the left foot, reach your arms up, hook your left index finger, your left thumb around your right wrist, take a big inhale, and then stretch towards the side. Inhale, lift all the way up, lift onto your tippy toes, take a little swivel, and then step your left foot forward. You made it. Turn your left toes to the front of the mat. Let's bend through the knee, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, come all the way down. This time, we're just gonna step the left foot all the way back, find in your plank, holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then on one, lower, lift your body up, and then shift back to your down dog. All right, let's try that flow one more time, opposite side. We're making our way towards the end of this class. <laughs> Last flow, right, left leg, lifts. Bend through the left knee, stack the hips. Maybe you ripple forward, landing your left toe, landing on the outer edge of the right foot. Lift your left arm up towards the sky. Three, two, and then one, come forward. Land your left palm, take your left leg across the body, land on the outer edge of the left foot, lift your right arm up. Rock star. And then land your right palm, roll all the way into your side plank. Let's step the left foot all the way forward. Inhale all the way up into a crest, uh, warrior two. Land here and then move with your breath. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Taking three more just like this. Two more. And then one more. And then once you land in your extended side angle, you choose where you go. Give it five breaths. If you want to go all the way into Bird of Paradise, that is there for you. If you don't, being here is also there for you. Taking one more breath. Come all the way up, lengthen through your left leg, walk your right foot in, hinge forward. Left arm alongside left leg, right arm reaches up towards the sky. And then shift your weight forward onto your left palm, your left foot, as you take your right leg up. And now you choose, maybe you kick the heel towards the bottom, coming into this full chapasana. Maybe you're good, just an Ardha Chandrasana, it doesn't really matter. It's all just a pose. And then step your right foot back, land your feet, turn all 10 toes to the side of your mat, Interlace your palms behind you. Take a big breath in, hinge forward. I'm just gonna take a sip of water. I do not drink enough water. Always feeling dizzy. Okay, take one more breath. And then come all the way up to stand. Turn your right toes to the short edge of the mat. Step your left foot in on this 45 degree angle. Reach the arms up, hinge your body forward, and then land your palms onto the mat, frame the foot. If you have a block to support yourself, go ahead. And then spiral your right arm up towards the sky. So revolve half moon. Not revolve half moon, revolve triangle. <laughs> Maybe then you come into your revolve half moon, you step the left foot, and you might kick the heel back, gripping the foot. Let's tilt all the way up to stand, and then either interlace the palms on the shin. Maybe take the peace fingers, extend the leg, give it three, give it two, 
and then give it one. You're gonna cross the left foot on the right thigh, open the arms. This time it's left arm underneath the right, weaving all the way together, taking your gaze forward. And then expand everything. Just step the left foot in front of the right. Reach your arms up. Take your right index finger and thumb. Come into a lateral side bend. And then just come all the way back up through center. Let's lift onto the tippy toes. Do our little swivel. Hands on the hips. Step the right foot all the way forward. Turn your right toes to the front of the mat. You made it. Bend through the right knee. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale. Come all the way forward. And then just step your right foot back to meet the left. Let's take a little vinyasa. Coming all the way back up to your down dog. Let's drop into a pigeon stretch. So take your right leg up towards the sky. Cool down time. Draw your right knee in. Lay your right chin across the width of the mat. Wiggle your left knee back. I think you guys are all good in pigeon. I've seen all of you practice before. You all know where thread the needle is if you can't do your pigeon. Take your breath in with upright, and then exhale, come forward. And then just kind of send your breath in and out through the body. One more inhale, one more exhale. And then just slowly lift all the way up. Let's come up into a down dog and then take this stretch the opposite way. So left leg lifts all the way up. Draw your left knee in, lay the left shin across the width of the mat, wiggling your right knee back, taking a big breath in and then exhaling to fold forward. Take two more breaths as you are. And then slowly peel all the way up. We're gonna come into seated. Okay, so sitting on your bottom, take your right leg in front of you. Maybe you cross your left leg in front of the right. I'm gonna turn so that you can maybe see me better. So your left foot is crossing and then you might either stay like this or kick your right heel into the bottom just like this, okay? So knee, left foot is grounded, you're on the outer edge of the right foot, and then you're gonna twist towards your left knee, okay? So start twisting like this, taking either your right elbow on your knee, or if that feels too deep for you, you can also just grip like this. And then if you are one of my regular yogis and you wanna go into this bind, we learned it in Power Vinyasa, you're gonna thread your right arm through that hole between your legs and thread your left arm back and then grip the palms and use that grip to gaze over your shoulder. And if you have super muscly shoulders like Yasser, maybe you can't get here and that's okay. And if you have long arms like Nadia, maybe it's no problem. I'm in that long arm club too, don't worry. It helps me get into all these binds. And then take one more breath. And then come all the way back through center. And then uncross the legs. And then let's take the opposite side into our twist. So lengthen your left leg long. <laughs> Step your right foot across. And this might be good, just twisting. Or you might take the heel back, 
and then maybe inhale your palms up and then twist towards the right knee, land the right, the left elbow on the right knee, gaze over the right shoulder, perhaps you come deeper into your twist. And come all the way back. Plant your feet on the mat and then you can just rock the knees from side to side. And if there's any last poses that you wanna do before your meditation or your Shavasana, go ahead. Um, I think I've said this before, I used to teach a 6 a.m. yoga class in like the dead of winter in Canada. And um, I would always encourage people to take a seated meditation at the end mostly because I was worried that they would fall asleep if they did Shavasana. Um, it's a different time of day for everyone right now in the world. So really it's up to you. But I find a morning meditation can be nice. Whatever pose you choose, let it support you. Let it hold you in this space. Just centralize your attention into your body. Gathering awareness behind your breath. Turning up the volume of receptivity, of openness, of acceptance. Feeling a deep sense of release, of wholeness and peace. Drop into your energetic and physical heart space, the center of the chest. The spiritual heart. And from the cave of your heart, What quality would you like to embody for your practice? Your life. Listen while the heart speaks. Maybe it's kindness or compassion, a willingness to love more openly and fully. As you embody this quality, let it saturate your being. Being present to yourself and for yourself, just as you are. Thanking yourself for showing up today.
up wiggle. If you're seated in meditation, just stay where you are. And if you're on your back, taking a nice big stretch. Slowly making your way up to join us. Oh, I'm sleepy. I'm glad I don't teach any more classes today. <laughs> I, there was a point in time when I taught all three classes on Sundays. So nice to have other people because you really can't pour from an empty cup. It's a team effort. Let's take our palms into our heart center. And if you had an intention for this practice, just revisit it now. If you want to join in an ohm, we're going to inhale and then exhale and then inhale through to make an ohm. Okay, so taking a breath in, and then a breath out, and then a breath in. Thank you for showing up and sharing this practice today. I hope you have a lovely sleep Maureen and I hope you have a lovely day to everyone else um, and I'll see you soon. Om Shanti 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 Peace. Namaste. The Mindful Life Practice.